<clears throat> some of you asked me about where to connect brown connector on Toyota Camry for fog lights. This is the switch on the inside. I'm not sure if I can zoom in. It's always the light is on because my brown connector is connected to the battery. So that's why it's it's the head, the fog light is not on, but the switch itself is on. You know, eliminated. So let me show you on the ins on the outside what I mean. On the outside, as you can see, fog lights are off. So by having that LED, by having that L, uh, not, yeah LED on that switch constantly on because it's connected directly to the battery, I disconnected. Let me turn the light on so you can see. It's disconnected. It's right now it's disconnected right there. So I, I crimped it a new connector, cut that brown connector off, and connected to this exactly same location where power cable from a relay is connected right there to the same i just disconnected for showing purposes now i have a mirror connected and why do i have a mirror connected is to show you how much current that small led on a switch draws it draws very minimal as you can see the setup uh it's a fluke it said uh, on 300 milliamps so and it draws only 10.65 milliamps which is if you convert to amps it's 0 0.01 0 0.01 amp and it's only 0 0.1 watt it's not even what one watt 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 so it draws very little it won't even drain the battery if you probably have it sitting for a week on they won't draw yeah that's true because i had it on for weeks and would not drain the battery but it's safe in terms of uh because you are powering through this connector right there with the lamp shining light on uh the relay itself so i'm gonna turn the fog lights on and see how much current they, the relay draws when the switch is on okay the switch is on i'm gonna turn it off so you can see it's off it's on see the difference See if I can get a better angle right there. So it's on, and there in my garage, don't have too much space, but the fog lights on, and they draw not the fog lights themselves, but uh, 128 milliamps, so that equals to 3 amps, a uh, 0.12 amps. So it doesn't draw that much to turn the relay on. But to be on the safe side, I connect it to the battery. And I'm going to connect the terminal now so that way you can see what I'm talking about. So th that connection, the connector is connected or not the connector, the wire itself. You see the electrical black tape wrapped around. It's the same connection as the original power red wire has been connected to the relay. So I cut the brown connector off and connected. Uh, you can buy them anywhere, those regular connectors for the bolt. That goes there, and it goes farther there, and then underneath there, and then you, I showed you in a, in a video, it goes through the firewall, uh, through the same connection with other factory wires. And then I'm going to put this cap on back. To keep everything isolated so we don't have any shirt and if you can find another source of power underneath the dash that safe safely can connect without drawing too much current and causing uh, issues to your electrical systems or even overload as you can see most of the wires now in the cars are very small and gauge i'm not sure 18 14 not even 14 19 maybe gauge very small and gauges uh so you can't really put too much load on them because you know you're gonna melt and once they start melting you know your car will catch on fire so uh your call how you want to make it i did direct the battery it's, it's the safest mode safest uh way to do it
Enjoy. Thanks.